Welcome back to more of the Outer Worlds. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. Quick recap. We're helping the broker right now who's going to help us by helping Phineas get chemicals to help awaken the other colonists from the ship that we were originally on. To help the broker, we need to help the Iconoclasts turn on a printing press so they can create pamphlets. All right, so we're in here. There's quite a few enemies. Let's take this. What do we have as far as enemies? What are we talking about here? Oh, hold on. Hold on. What are you? I'll take it. Oh, that's what we have. Let's take this. I think we need to repair a couple of things. Our weapon is in not great shape. Yeah. Yeah, repair it. And then this guy, oh yeah, repair him too. I think what we can normally do is pay at a shop to have it repaired. That's the better way to do it. All right. But we're nowhere near a shop. Spinners down. Ooh, 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 hold on. Shrink him. Kill it, kill it. Please. Come on. He's dead. Get this one. Where is the vicar? He's over there. Oh. He's not dead. There we go. Yeah, let's take that and continue. If we look at the map. We are trying to go upstairs. Okay, right here. Ooh, you're alive. Here we go. <laughs> Don't mess with us. Yep, yeah, what we want is in there. What's over here? Nothing. A ladder. It's barred. Son of a. Okay. So what does that mean? Where do we go and what do we do? Take all that. Is there a door? There's a door right there. Oh. Look at this. Dissident. Some pamphlets. Here we go. Oh. Good dodge. Oh, we're oh, super low on ammo. We need a vending machine. This is locked. Whoa, mining helmet. Two, <laughs> two light ammo. We're back at the front door. What? What did I miss? Something in here. Final notice from Schuster. During my 10 year of service, I've made no numerous complaints regarding the hazards of working on this law forsaken rock. There's his list of complaints. At this latest response, I hereby tell whoever's reading this to go hang themselves in the, your replacement rollers, ink carts, belting, bindings, keys, stamps, lubricants, and whatever else in these infernal boxes can all be found rotting in the wilderness. Huh. Let's buy some ammo. We will buy, yeah, all that. Wait, what did I just do? Okay. So now we have a better weapon. Oh, look at all this. We can get into this room. 
But let's first... Oh, look at this. They're so kind giving us all these mag picks. Oh, that's the outside. Yeah, it looks like we have to pick this lock. Let's do it. We just barely have enough lock picking skill. Maybe that's something we want to keep working on. Nope. Get all this garbage. And this. And do some hacking. Shipment status. Old factory. Yeah, something about people losing their sense of smell. Feel free to pause at any time if you want to really read this. The rollers in our printing press facility are degraded and will break soon if attached to purchase order. So, we don't have a key. It's barred. Let's go back upstairs and take a second look at this. Oh, there's a door down here. Aha! Hello, sir. Let's... You. Here we go! Kill it! Good. Good work. Much more efficient use of the, the bullets. What do we have? Take all this. I really just need... <laughs> I was going to say ammo. Perfect. Okay, here we are. Unlock this. Alright, what's in this room? Loot. Take one of those. Give me that. Terry's birthday. Evacuation orders. And then... A referendum. Terra 1 will be officially considered illegal territory. Wait a minute. Terra 1, is that, is that her? This notice issued January 12th, 2343 serves as the public denouncement of Terra 1 as a feasible workplace environment. Or is Terra 1 like a first colony? Due to the hostile and aggressive nature of the wildlife, as well as the unsustainability. Terra 1 is not in this system, is it? Unless maybe that's a former name for Monarch? Not really sure. Oh man, we really need... We really need better lockpicking. I know we're a science guy, but it seems like one of the main things in the game is lockpicking. And we can't use five mag picks every single time just to get loot. Install rolls. Press number six is now operational. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's it. Okay. Perfect. And we're done. If you were in charge, would you keep the board around? Of course. Even with all their faults, they are the best chance to maintain order in the colony. I suppose I can appreciate the structure of things. Long as the folks at the top have got the right heads on their shoulders. Interesting point. We've been kind of against the board. We've taken some actions against the board, especially, of course, helping these Iconoclasts. Buddy. If you'll just listen... No! No more listening! No more preaching! We are losing people left and right! We need to act! Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, 
Apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? The printing press is all yours. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Yep, they're on their way back. Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Hmm. I think she wants us to do something against the board, and I don't know if we're willing to do that. Ooh, what is this? Playing some cards. These. Yeah, I don't want to steal those. I'm not going to talk to her right now. We have other things to worry about. In fact, let's start dealing with those things right now. We need to change over to... Oh, no, no, no. We're on the right quest. Let's go to region, and let's go back into town. Alright, I think we're ready. I've done enough messing around with stuff. Bought plenty of ammo. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Interesting. Sanjar. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. That's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Me, I'm charting my own path, going where the wind takes me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. <laughs> no. I'm afraid not. Oh, a shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Hmm, what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. Something to be said for perseverance. I endeavor to persevere myself. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Hmm. Sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon. Why not embrace it? I can tell your iconoclast friends have left their mark on you. Ooh, Freedom always point. sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. I don't know what intellectualism means, but if someone's willing to build us a few practical things around here, I ain't gonna judge them on account of their beliefs. Yes, 
It's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. So what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. A lot of good that'll do. I'll just find another reason to turn tail and abandon you. Not if we secure the proper safeguards first. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Hmm. This lady knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. You do seem to have a bit of a Raptodon problem. And a Mantisaur problem. And a Marauder problem. Many, many problems, but they can all be solved with a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Oh. This Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Once you have the Bolt 52, what's the other part of your plan? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. I'll see what I can find. So taciturn, so dour. I'll be waiting with bated breath. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Before I go, we haven't even talked about the radio broadcast yet. Before I go, I need to ask you something. What can I do for you? I need MSI to stop broadcasting. Your jammels, your jamming Devil's Peak Station. You're just as rigid as the old executive committee. Why, we've hardly been able to get a clear message out until recently. When Graham finally shut up. Praise the architect for that. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. There must be another way for you to do business. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. Okay. I met Grim, the landing pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Okay, that's it. So, yeah, it looks like we need to get them back onto the board before we can get the radio station signal free. Okay, let's get out of here. Careful. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both. I believe this place has seen better days. Yeah, I remember this landing craft. Alright, let's slow it down. I do some see something out there. Let's go like this. Here we go. Ever we Against right. Them. Looks like we're done. Ooh, something happened to me. Not sure what.
I hear something. Oh, right there. This guy. You won't get any mercy from me. Don't mess with us. Alright, let's head in this building. Oh, it's locked. How do we get in? We're good enough. Arms building key. Do you think it's around? I think we just picked the lock. I don't think I really have the patience to wait any longer. And we are definitely going to focus on lock picking moving forward. Let's read this. View executive reviews. Sandra has a bad habit of padding his reports with numbers and statistics. Not very good with slogans, jingles, and taglines. Presentations tend to be dry and lacking in emotional appeal and funny references. Needs improvement in the following areas. Interpersonal communication, brevity, delegation, and idea generation. Okay. Graham. Hack it. Graham's understanding of product messaging and branding is impressive, especially for a relatively low-level editor, has a knack for memorable slogans and taglines. However, Graham has issues with brevity and shows consistent disregard for prescribed fonts. Okay. Oh, wait. I read this, right? Yes. And Dora Erickson. Do we know who that is? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Recommended for promotion. Dora Erickson. Oh, Graham wants us to delete these because his review is not good. You know what? We'll do it. We need his help. All right. Take all this. Let's go upstairs. Uh, no, thank you. Oh, hello, hello. I hear boots out there. Wait, can rats wear boots? Hello, who's in there? Oh, thank the eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux, if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a manta queen showed up. Then raptodons. It was a void blasted mess. I ran in here and. Now the door's locked. Little help? You got locked in? It's easier than it sounds, alright? Next time you get chased by raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions. I need to get into that room. Phew. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. There must be a way to open it from the inside. What do you mean? It's locked. Thankfully, we can use our engineering. Right, but okay, let's try the handle and... Wait, upward? Oh, my eternal soul. Oh, thank it goodness. Worked. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. You sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? Well, we're not going to attack her. We're just going to say good luck. Thanks a lot, mister. Hmm. Okay, I hope she makes it. Let's see, what's in here? A couple of bits. 
one of these. Heavy ammo, perfect. All this garbage. And that thing we need. Bolt 52. Hey, can I take a look at that? Let's see. Bolt 52 cartridge. Okay. Doesn't look like much. It must have a lot of data. Alright, fair enough. I think we can probably just fast travel back. All right, Sanjar. Be careful with your new friends in Amber Heights. They're not the most reliable types. Anyway, what can I do for you? Oh, we're not going to talk about the review. Oh, no, I think we do. Because we can get the quest completed. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Sorry, it was already open. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Who cares what they think? You're in charge now. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. And you've made it work. That's more than anyone can say for those execs. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Was there something else? And let's give him the cartridge. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. Oh, we've gotten some money. And reputation. How exactly is a data cartridge going to help? What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. So you do want to go against the board. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Um... Yes, finally, the board will get their comeuppance. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. <laughs> I can get behind that. That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch, illegally and in secret. Mr. Nandi may be correct. If the masses learn that the board disregards their own ordinances, it'd give rise to dissent. MSI could use this information to their advantage. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. What does this mean for me? If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Sounds like you know her well enough yourself. That's part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay, and I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. We really don't need to discuss this now, Celia. <laughs> okay. I know how to make people talk. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? 
Close enough. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Hmm. Infiltrate a secret corporate base and kidnap the staff. Easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Okay. Oh. If you're looking for a corporate presence, I met some mercenaries affiliated with C3. That's right, they're, they're hired by the broker. I'm sorry, who? C3, corporate compliance crew. Ah, them. They're hardly a corporation. More like a jumped up band of thugs with certain pretensions. The evidence I'm hoping for would implicate one of the board powers. Anti-Cleo's, Spacer's Choice, UDL, someone of that caliber. Not that we don't appreciate your diligence. Fair enough. Looks like we have more work to do. And we're almost, we are just shy of hitting level 18. I, can I see the, the exact numbers? It doesn't look like I can. Our reputation, though, has gone pretty far up. The board is still Nutrisoms, but Ma Monarch, M MSI, uh, has gone from neutral to agreeable. Yep. Iconoclast, of course, love us. So that's good. We are making progress, slowly but surely. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. Take care.